Hi, I'm Allie. Join me in creating these corkscrew crystal earrings that you can learn a lot from, even if you're not using the exact same materials. If you do need the materials, you can look below the video in the description to get links to shop with us online. There's also links there for other helpful videos that you may need along the way if you're doing this circular peyote stitch and the peyote bezel. Gather up your materials and let's get started. So to begin our design, we have some simple material. Delica beads in 11 o and 11 o seed beads. One 12 millimeter Rivoli and one six millimeter crystal. Other than that, we're just gonna use a wire guard and an ear wire. We're gonna start out with some size six dragon thread in the green color. And I've put onto about two and a half feet of my thread with a size 10 or size 12 needle, 16 of my Delica beads, and I'm tying them into a rounded circle. We're gonna start with the top and then we use the exact same technique to make the bezel for the bottom and we'll just continue with the same steps. So I have my knot here and I'm going to take my needle and sew through about the first three or four beads or so, wherever my needle pops out. And then we're gonna switch into peyote stitch. So to do the peyote stitch, we are going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead, skip over the next Delica bead in line and then sew bead through, or sew through, excuse me, bead number three. Pick up another 11, skip number four, sew through number five. How this will progress is we're gonna add a total of eight of our 11 0 seed beads. When you're doing peyote stitch, the original first row is going to be actually two rows. So those 16 beads are actually my first two rows of my peyote stitch. And now what I'm doing is row number three, adding in those eight beads as we go in and do this circular peyote. So again, I'm skipping a bead, going through the next one. If you're unfamiliar with peyote stitch and you're wondering how this is working, keep in mind, I have lots of videos on peyote stitch. A good one to watch would be the circular peyote stitch. That would be a great one because you can really do your own design with this as well. After you have your eight beads in place along the line, we are going to step up. What that means is we're gonna take our needle and thread through the first 11 OC bead that we started out on this third row. From here, we're gonna do our next row. Our next row of peyote stitch is going to involve two of our Delica beads, and then we're gonna sew through and catch on to all of the 11 O seed beads that we just added in row three. So row three was eight 11 O seed beads. Row four is eight groups of two Delica beads. So you can see how quickly this progresses, just putting those beads through and spinning around, hence the name the corkscrew, because we're just spinning and spinning. And once you get the lay of the land of this design, you can really do tons of modifications to it and a ton of design switches too. So going around here, we're creating and getting those beads in place. And then as we come to our final group of two, we are going to once again, step up. When we step up, we are gonna go through the first two delicas that we put on in row number four. So stepping up right there so the needle comes out the top. From here, we are going to do another row of 11 OC beads. So we're going to increase here just by one 11 OC bead, which is gonna sit directly above the last 11 OC bead, see it right there. So we're gonna go around the circle one more time in row number five here, sew through, add an 11 O, sew through the next two delicas. Repeating that, sew through the next two delicas. So we're adding an additional eight 11 O's as we go around the exterior of this upper corkscrew portion of the pendant or of the earring. This can also be done as a pendant, or you can break this down and do two different earring designs. Keep in mind also, if this is a little quick for you, you can always go down into the settings on YouTube and slow it down so it's at a slower rate and you can follow along. I'm doing this quickly 
because it is based on peyote stitch and most of you are already going to know peyote stitch and again if you don't go ahead and check out our circular peyote video we'll put a link to that in the description of the video from here i'm adding my last 11 oc bead sewing through those two delicas and then stepping up through the first 11 that i just added in this fifth row row number six and my final row or the top of my piece here is going to be a collection of Delica 11 Delica. So we're gonna spin around this whole way, Delica 11 Delica, catching on to all the 11s that we just added. And as I progress around here, this is where we're going to pick up and get ready to do a different stitch when we get ready to add our crystal. So when we get finished with this one and this top portion, we are going to repeat this entire five rows of our peyote, circular peyote stitch to get the base of our Rivoli bezel. So when we get to the Rivoli bezel, you're gonna already have one of these ready to go. And I'm gonna pick up from this exact spot basically. So after we finish this one, you're going to repeat completely. After you have this row of your peyote stitch, while we're here, we are going to add our wire guard to the top. Once again, so the whole way through that first row that you just did, or that first grouping of beads that you just did to close up this little spiral corkscrew. Once you're finished with this top little corkscrew portion, you're gonna wanna bring your thread and needle out through one of the 11 O's that you just added in the middle of the delicas. From here, this is gonna be the top portion of our earring. You can see this is a really fun little earring just in itself, but what we're gonna do is add one of our six millimeter bicones here. Then we're gonna grab our wire guard or wire protector. If you've never used one of these, these are great because they give a nice polished finish look to the design, as well as they're really beneficial because the thread itself is not then attached to the ear wire. The wire guard is protecting the thread by having it in this U channel. After going up through the wire guard, you're gonna come back down through the crystal, give a little pinch on your wire guard. That'll pinch it so that the ends are closer together. Come back to that 11 OCB that your thread is currently coming out of and make sure that you're sewing into the opposite side so your crystal is centered around the top. From here, reinforce going back through the crystal, back through the piece here, down through the other side, and then making sure that it comes through the crystal once again. While you're doing this, just make sure that you don't have any extra little thread showing that missed that U channel. Go back into the design, just sewing around. And now I'm going to downgrade. Instead of going through the first bead that I added in each row and stepping up, I'm just going right along the peyote stitch here and taking my needle towards the interior to add a little bit of purple in the interior. In the interior, what I wanna do is come out through the Delica beads that are towards the middle, which would be row number one of Delica's. I'm coming out, you can see these eight beads that kind of pop out towards the middle. I'm gonna pick up two 11 OC beads, skip over, I'm coming out of bead number one, skip over bead number two and sew through the Delica bead number three out of those middle eight. Add two beads, skip number four, sew through number five. So basically you're catching on to the, that middle row I'm just adding a little of the purple seed bead. Add two more, skip over the next one, and go to the next one in line. This will happen four times, and you'll circle around, again that corkscrew name, and go through the Delica that your thread was originally coming out of. You don't need to do this, this just adds a 3D element, you can see here, and it sits up with the Delica. From here then, I'm gonna go back through all of those seed beads just to make it appear a little bit more rounded rather than squared. So I'm just sewing back through all the 11 O's right in a row. 
after we finish this section here, take your threaded needle to the back of the design, flip it over, and your threaded needle should be fairly close to that starter thread. This top section is done. That's why I said it's a nice earring if you would just wanna do this portion. Tie it off. And then we're gonna start with a new piece of thread and needle to do our bottom section of our little bezel. So see how cute it is here at the top, just that little cute corkscrew. Well, let's bling it up and add one of our Potomac Crystal 12 millimeter rollies to the bottom. So remember, we're repeating the whole start of the design till we're getting ready almost to add our wire guard and our crystal at the top. This is gonna be the base for our 12 millimeter Rivoli to sit inside of. I've stepped up in this row of the peyote stitch that I'm coming out through the middle 11 in that previous last row. Remember that last row was a Delica 11 Delica. Stepping out that last row, we're gonna switch it up where we use 11 Delica 11. This time we're not catching on to the entire Delica and 11 Delica, we're just catching on to that middle 11 OC bead, creating a netting design. So we're gonna catch on to those eight middle beads, and this is going to start creating a basket effect. So it's gonna look like you're skipping an 11 O, but that's because that's from the previous row. You are just catching on to the middle 11 from the row, from the beads that you just added. 11 Delica 11, and then go into that next 11 O on that peak. We're going the whole way around. Like I said, this is starting to create that little basket that's going to create the bezel on the design. So eight is going to be the 11 Delica 11, the whole way around, catching on for this next row of the peyote stitch. So we've been doing circular peyote and this is still circular peyote as well but we're not picking up the entire unit from the last row. We're just picking up the middle bead from the previous unit. So just that 11 OC bead. Going around them, you're going to continue to do so. Just that 11 O and get this next line in place. Once you're finished, go back through that first 11O that your thread is currently coming out of, and then give a nice tight pull. When you give that nice tight pull, you can see that little basket effect and all of those little bead collections that were just added in that group of three. Our Rivoli is gonna sit right in the middle there, and we have another row to add to get towards the interior. To get to the interior and to close it up or pull it in together, we're gonna step up so that again, we're coming out of the center bead of the row that we just completed. That center bead last time was an 11 O, this time is a Delica. We're going to catch on to all of those center Delicas, adding two Delicas and then sewing through the center Delica next in line. That's gonna to pull toward the middle because those two delicas are less space than the previous row. Two delicas, go through the next delica. And you can see I have two done already. As I get more in, I'm going to make sure to plop my crystal in because that's creating the bezel and I won't have any space for it if I do the whole way around. So the crystal goes in. You wanna make sure as you're adding your two delicas, when you're bezeling, whether or not you're doing a full peyote bezel or the bezel like I'm doing here, you always wanna grab your thread and kind of pull it toward the middle. And that's gonna tighten up the rows as you go. So I've got three in there. I have five more to grow. Groups of two Delicas catching on to the center Delica of the last row you just completed. As you finish adding in your last two Delicas, you're gonna to pull towards the center here pulling that in towards the design. And I always like to kind of massage my Rivoli in place, making sure that the fit is great and tight and that it's nice and centered in the design. Once you have that established, I want you to go back through the Delica beads that you just added, pulling them a little closer toward the center. 
you're skipping over the other beats and you're just going through just the delicas you just added. That's gonna round out and pull this bezel a little bit more to center while not losing any of the crystal. You can see I'm just sewing through those center beads, tightening the bezel around the 12 millimeter Rivoli. Once you're done with this step, and this is where the green thread is great because it really kind of disappears. Once you're done with that step where you have that nice link here of all of those delicas, we're gonna pop to the outside edge of the Rivoli bezel. We're gonna connect onto that 11 OC bead here that you were connecting onto as you added the 11 Delica 11 row. So I'm gonna sew back along the line here through the Delica, through the 11 O in kind of that V, and we are going to pop out through that 11 O. If you wanna keep this design nice and simple, you can finish the Rivoli just as is, and you can connect here without doing the points of the piece. So there's all kinds of different options here, or you can just make this just its own little bezel and drop. From here, we're gonna to come to that outer edge and we're going to add a collection of two 11s, one Delica, two 11s. I'm gonna push this out of the way a little bit. So we're adding two 11s, then one Delica, and then two 11s. We're gonna do this eight times, catching on and sewing through that 11 OC bead that sits right on the edge of the Rivoli. You'll see it as you circle around, it's right at that X or right at that V spot. You're gonna sew through one, adding that little peak there. And then once again, grab your collection of beads here. You gotta pour out a couple more 11s. And then once again, turn it on the side and you'll easily see where you need to catch on to that 11. So you're going to keep going the whole way around the piece till you have this eight times. After we have this eight times, I'm going to show you how we're going to make the points a little bit sharper rather than a little rounded out so we get that nice peaks around our corkscrew spiral. After you get all of your little loops in place, we are going to make them much more pointed. How are we going to do that? We're going to sew back through all the beads that we just added, but we're going to skip over the Delica. What that's going to do, going through the 11s going up, skipping over that Delica, and then sew through the 11s going down. Sometimes you can get through the 11 also that you caught on to, but when you pull, it forces that Delica outside of that thread line and to the top, making it much more pointed in its section here. And there you can see that point. So you're gonna go around the whole exterior, going through up the seed beads, skip over the Delica, down the two seed beads, go through the 11 that's connecting all of those little loops there, and then up to the next. See how those three points already are so much more pointed rather than these rounded? That's the effect that we're getting with this little trim and our thread line. Go ahead and continue around, finishing out the next five of those peaks to make them nice and sharp for our earring. Once you have all of your peaks created, it is time to attach it to your little corkscrew uh, peyote stitch. So what we're going to do is we are going to connect to the very bottom of the piece that we already made. We're gonna do this with a simple right angle weave stitch and I'm coming out of one of my Delica beads here. I'm going to line it up along the piece here, looking and drawing a line and saying which bead is the exact opposite here at the bottom. Pick up an 11 OC bead, pick up that 11 O that sits directly above, add another 11 O and come back down through that same Delica bead. We're not only gonna do this once, but we're gonna do this two times. And you can see, like I've said along the video, the really the desire of this is to show you some ideas and give you some inspiration. If you make any changes to this design, it's always great to comment in the comment section of the video to help out other Potomac beaters that may be watching or getting started. If you change up the size, the design, share and let us know. 
From here, after two times through, you're gonna take your thread and needle toward the back of the design. I'm going to just kind of flip it over here, take my thread and needle and sew along the line that you've already, oops, that you've already established, just getting towards that back starter thread and then tying the two thread ends together. Once that's done here and the two thread ends are tied together along the back, all you have to do is add your ear wire to the front or top of your piece. You're just gonna take the ear wire, grab a plier and open that up, grab that beautiful wire guard at the top and then close it up along the design. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you put it on correctly rather than like I did backwards. Flip it in the design and add it. So when you wear it, the crystal will start off towards the top. Now these are a good inch and a half long. If you don't like that length, remember you can stop the spiral earlier. You can just do one section of the stitch. And again, you can really change it up to the desired look that you're going for. Thanks so much for joining me for these corkscrew crystal earrings. Remember, there's tons of modifications that can be made, and it would be even beautiful as a necklace if you wanted to do the rivoli and the open loops on the opposite sides. Remember, if you do make any changes or have any comments, please comment below the video to help out other Potomac beaters that may be watching. As always, I hope this video inspires you to change it up, make modifications, and learn some new skills. Thanks so much for joining me and stay tuned for our next inspirational video.